What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna cover how to use a lifting belt. The three most common types of lifting belts that you will usually see are a sturdy power lifting belt, a Velcro cloth material belt, and what I like to call the old school bodybuilding leather belt. This big bulky power lifting belt should be used for squats and deadlifts. This cloth style belt is not gonna provide as much support as the bulky powerlifting belt, but is ideal for anyone doing the Olympic lifts. Snatch and clean and jerk. The reason being, this cloth style belt is gonna provide enough support, but it's not gonna get in the way of that second pull on the clean and the snatch, like the big bulky powerlifting belt would. And the old school bodybuilder lifting belt should never be worn by anyone. The reason I don't like the old school bodybuilding belts is because they don't have enough surface area on the front of the belt. A good belt will provide an even amount of material around your entire core. Before we get into how to use a belt, let's talk about the purpose of a lifting belt. A lifting belt prevents your stomach from sagging forward, which in turn prevents your lower back from hyperextending. A lifting belt helps your abdominal muscles and your lower back do their job. Think of it as an extra set of abs. Before we go any further, you need to learn how to breathe before using a lifting belt. You need to focus on breathing down into your belly. Do not breathe up into your chest. Your belly should expand full of air and this will push your stomach out. You want to make sure that while you're breathing into your stomach, your lower back is staying neutral. You don't want to simply hyperextend your back and push your stomach out. Before each repetition, you should take a big gulp of air into your stomach. I like to open my mouth and imagine I'm eating the air. Hold that air in your belly and then brace down as if someone were gonna punch you in the stomach. The pressure in your belly is called intra-abdominal pressure. The act of creating intra-abdominal pressure is called the Valsalva maneuver. Here's a drill to help you learn how to breathe in your stomach. Lay on the ground with your knees up. Make sure your lower back is in contact with the ground. Place a plate on your stomach. Now take a big breath into your stomach and try to raise the plate towards the ceiling. Now that you understand how to breathe, you are ready to use a belt. Your belt should be snug around your stomach, but not so tight that it pulls your belly in. Pulling your stomach in too far completely defeats the purpose of wearing a belt. As your stomach sucks in, your lumbar spine flexes over or rounds. Your belt should be something that you can press your belly against for added support. It is not meant for strangling your midsection. It not only provides support, but it is a great reminder to take a big breath into your belly and maintain intra-abdominal pressure during every rep. Now let's talk about where to place the belt. Of course, personal preference reigns supreme. When I squat, I like to place the belt in a position that covers my belly button. Any lower and the belt shifts up when I hit the bottom. Too high and it just feels awkward for me. When I deadlift, I like to put the belt a little bit higher, almost over my belly button. When I wear the belt too low, it touches my thighs and pulls my stomach in too far. This prevents me from keeping my lower back tight. Wearing my belt a little bit higher when I deadlift just feels comfortable for me. When I wear the belt for overhead press, I wear it right in the middle of my lower back. This allows me to keep my core full of air and tight, and it prevents my low back from hyperextending too much. As far as when to wear your belt during a training session, only wear it for the working sets of your main lifts. For example, if I was working up to three sets of five with 405 pounds, I would not wear the belt while I warmed up. I would put it on once I reached 405 for my first working set. There's no need for me to wear a belt when I'm squatting 100 pounds. And please, don't wear your belt while you're doing dumbbell curls. As far as when to wear a belt during your programming, I would suggest only wearing it during your really heavy days. 
Don't wear it for your speed days. Don't wear it for high rep days. Wear it when you're handling over 90% of your one rep max. Now for those of you asking, do belts really work? I think so. They will add a few pounds to your lifts. Not one or 200 pounds, but a few extra. But more importantly, wearing a lifting belt reminds me to stay tight, breathe deep into my abdomen, increase and maintain intra-abdominal pressure throughout the entire lift.